Hey guys. Hey. Me and the first mate, we just hit a milestone. 200 subs. 200 subs. So thumbs up to you guys. Thank you for subbing and watching the craziness of this channel grow. Uh, hey. It's always a journey. So today, so I just wanted to get off the chest right off the bat. Thank you guys. Really appreciate it. And if you're just coming to the channel right now, please sub, like, and uh, yeah, comment down below. Hey, whatever. Till we get up to a thousand, two thousand, a million. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, anyway, hmm, let's get this lit. This is. You clicked on the title. I can get this lighter lit. I'm trying out Holger Dansk. I guess that's how you say it. Holger Dansk Ready Rub Daily Mixture. And I picked this up because it's got similar qualities to the Peterson's uh, Sherlock Holmes blend. That is always hard for me to get nowadays. Uh, I told you I picked up like one tin. I never really stock up. And lo and behold, what I knew... Okay, we're back. Right in mid-sentence, too. Uh, lo and behold, what I was saying was going to happen, happened. No more Peterson's blends from the ones that I want, you know, um, on any of the websites. Already out of stock. I guess people are, you know, because you know, I think on the one, uh, smokingpipes.com, you can only get like 25 at a time per customer, either 15 or 25 tins per customer. And uh, I guess somebody's being greedy and stocked up. But anyway not going to get into that because I don't do that. I always just buy as I go. So this is a special Virginia and Burley grades blended by hand matured under high pressure ready rubbed mild and not too sweet and this has tin note that's very similar to the uh, Peterson line and this let me tell you yeah it's got that it comes in a nice little bag already bagged up oh man yeah it's got like that dark raisiny, raisin notes, fruit, you know, like like dried fruit. Oh, uh, yeah. And it, it's, like I said, it's that ready rub stuff, just like the other Peterson blend that I just had the fin I'm finishing up on. I still have some of the Irish whiskey or whatever it is, Irish, the Irish do. And, it, yeah, it comes out like these sticks. These ready, like, you know, long... You see that long stick like stuff so it's, I don't like that type of cut because I gotta fold it or you know try to rub it out a little bit more and get it in the pipe and I, a lot of times if I don't stuff it right it clogs the freaking air hole which is small already in this pipe and it's hard to draw and then I gotta either dump it out start over or take the tool and try to work it around now this is a First impression, right open up, right out of the tin. It's not overly dry and not too moist. It's just right. So I think you can just, you know, grab and go. You don't have to wait, you know? So, yeah. Now, it's hard for me to get a good draw on this now. Either it's from the way, like I said, Either way, I packed the bowl, but it tastes, it's got a good note to it. I mean, it tastes similar to the Peterson's blend, blend but I'm trying to get it freaking lit. It's just giving me a pain in the butt right now. But yeah, it does have a similar, similar tint note. Is this something that I'll go to? I don't know. I'll have to see. You know, I have still one more Peterson's left of the Sherlock Holmes blend on the shelf and then after that I gotta order some more tobacco but I'm probably just gonna go through these two first and then see what goes on see if I can get another tin I always like to try and get a tin when I open a tin if you know if there if I can do such a thing I used to hmm These are pretty good, and, and it's cheaper than Peterson's. This was probably like eight bucks, I think. Peterson's about nine fifty-five on that website, so this is around a dollar cheaper, dollar two cheaper, whatever. But still, I mean, 
if this is something very similar, because Peterson's blend also does have the uh, burly and the Virginia in it. So the tin note is similar. Smoke-wise, I'm not too sure. Uh, like I said, because I don't like this cut. That's the only drawback. If this was a ribbon cut, I like ribbon cut. That works pretty well for the two pipes that I have. Okay. Maybe it does need some drying time. I don't know. Or it could be, like I said, the way I freaking stuffed this thing. <laughs> So, hope you guys are all well. Thanks again for everybody that has subscribed in the recent uh, days and weeks. Got me up to 200 finally. Been a pretty long time. I thought I would soar with the subs uh, from the beer videos. But like I said, I branched off. And now YouTube's getting silly with the whole tobacco and pipe and everything. You guys know it. I'm not going to go go down, hash down that, that, that road again. We all know what's going on. We know they don't like us smoking. Yeah, advertisers don't want to advertise on our channels, whatever. So, we'll have to, you know, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it if I ever get, you know, monetized. I don't really care about the money right now. I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't think it's ever going to happen. But, I would like to be monetized so I could do, you know, live live events and stuff. If I'm sitting out back here, you know, having a beer and a cigar on a Friday night, I like to do something live, but I can't because it doesn't let mobile devices do live stream. You can do it, you know, um, from uh, a laptop, but I don't have no external cameras or anything like that and the cabin out here it's you know, I'm running off Wi-Fi and a laptop I don't think would have enough power to, to even do a live stream uh, so I was hoping to do it on my phone but you know well let me do it so oh well I mean I want the full access to get do you know with the thousand with you, once you have a thousand people you get to get the full access of, of the sites and, and, and be able to do stuff like the live stuff and things like that but oh well maybe one day you know, I like to do like maybe like a live brew day or something. That'd be really pretty neat. You know. So, let me know in the comments below what you guys are getting up to. Captain's been doing some fishing. Been doing a little bit of fishing. I haven't been shooting any video though. Uh, just been catching a lot of crabs. You know, one or one or two at a time. It's pretty slow, but. The one night I caught like a dozen crabs, man. Tide was going out, and uh, they were just swimming on by the dock, man. I just had my net and just kept on scooping up, man. Before I knew it, I had like a dozen crabs, all different sizes, but pretty big. But most of them were pretty, pretty decent size. So the captain's back on the board. No fish, but I'm on the board for crabs. That's for sure. Especially the way seafood is today, it's so expensive. You know, I don't even know what a dozen crabs cost now. Probably probably twenty five dollars, I would think. Cause I think when I used to buy it, it was like twelve, twelve for twelve, something like that. I don't know. Nowadays it's probably like more like thirty for the number ones. You know, the real big ones. All right, guys, I don't want to get this too long winded. Just a quick uh, video on the Holger dance pipe mixture. My initial reactions to it. So far, so good. If I can keep it lit, which I can't. So, until we do it again, my friends, remember, let's set sail.